Before I say anything else, I just want to clarify that I do not in any way, shape, or form hate Skyrim, nor am I against a Skyrim remaster at some point in the future. Those of you who know me well know that Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time, and this game has a pretty special place in my heart. So of course I want it to be remastered in the somewhat distant future. But Skyrim being remastered right now is not something I'm really a huge fan of for reasons I'll be discussing in this video. To give a little bit of context here, recently there's been a lot of speculation that Bethesda is going to announce Skyrim Remastered at E3 or at least sometime soon. I can't speak to the exact chances that it's going to happen, but from what I can tell, it's pretty likely. And if you don't believe me on that, I'll leave some links down below in the description to videos discussing the issue more in depth. That speculation is basically what prompted this video, because this is something I feel somewhat strongly about. In my eyes, remastering Skyrim anytime soon is bad for pretty much three reasons. First of all, what you have to understand is that this is bad not just for Elder Scrolls fans in general, but actually mostly for Skyrim fans. This seems totally contradictory, so let me explain. Skyrim came out only five years ago, which is pretty recent for a game already being remastered. What this means is unfortunately, they aren't really going to be able to improve on it all that much. If Bethesda re-released Skyrim with, for instance, graphics on the level of Fallout 4 and maybe some other improvements on the same level, I don't think Skyrim fans would find it too satisfying. This is the classic choice between getting something mediocre in the near future or getting something truly satisfying in, say, 5-7 to seven years. In the future, Bethesda is definitely going to have much better technology at their fingertips and they're going to be able to improve on Skyrim much more, so I really think they should be waiting until then, but it seems like they're not doing that. Secondly, Bethesda games are inherently the type of games that have a very long lifetime. People are still playing Skyrim a lot today, and not without good reason. The Elder Scrolls games are moddable, which allows the game to improve as time passes. I very much doubt that Skyrim Remastered is going to make significantly more improvements than some of the better mods out there already do. But even if you're on console, Bethesda games have always been about world building and quest venturing, which is not something that's really going to change in a remastered edition. Skyrim hasn't yet become outdated or stale, so there's just not as much added benefit to remastering a game like Skyrim at the current point in time. Finally, and this is the most important point, there are already three other Elder Scrolls games that need to be remastered much more than Skyrim does right now. In 7 years, I'll be absolutely adamant about a Skyrim remaster, but right now I'm more adamant about a remastery of Daggerfall, Morrowind, and Oblivion. There's actually quite a bit Bethesda could do to improve these games graphics-wise, engine-wise, and so on, unlike with Skyrim. And you've also got to think about the fact that a lot of Elder Scrolls fans are new and have only played Skyrim, so this would be the perfect opportunity for them to get into some of the older games. Think about this for a second, if someone who's only played Skyrim played say a remastered version of Morrowind and they loved it, this would be a great way for Bethesda to take some Elder Scrolls fans on the outskirts and suck them in as hardcore fans. This would deepen the Elder Scrolls fanbase because it's the hardcore fans that form the core of your fanbase. Ultimately, the result would be even more hype for the Elder Scrolls. In contrast, remastering Skyrim can't really do that much to improve the game, so it's just not going to have the same wowing effect as a person playing Morrowind for the first time. The point I'm trying to drive here is that remastering Daggerfall, Morrowind, and Oblivion would not only provide more added benefit to these games than Skyrim, but would also serve to introduce some of the newer fans of the franchise to some of the older games. And that's pretty much why I'm against the rumored Skyrim Remastered Edition that will be announced at E3. One more thing before ending off the video, I actually want to defend Bethesda here for a bit because a lot of people think they're remastering Skyrim just for the money and these people are calling them out on it. Skyrim did sell the best of all the Elder Scrolls games, so I can see why people think this, but I want to remind you all that from what we know about Bethesda, they're really not that type of organization. Bethesda does care a lot about their fans and about making good games, so I don't think this is something they're doing purely for money. My opinion is that it's just a bit of an oversight and nothing more. Ultimately, Bethesda is a great company and they do make great games, so this is just a little blip in the road that I feel somewhat strongly about, but isn't really a big deal in the long run. And who knows, maybe they are planning to add some things to the remastered edition of Skyrim that will greatly improve the game. I still stand by what I said earlier, but do take this video with a bit of a grain of salt, as you would pretty much anything on the internet. Well, alright folks, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed or if you agreed with anything I had to say, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Elder Scrolls videos in the future. 
And of course, be sure to let me know your own thoughts on the issue down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.